Hey friends, how are you today? Not sure when you're watching this video, but it is Monday and I thought that I'd be having a tooth pull today and it's not going to happen until tomorrow morning at nine. So I wanted to let you all know that before you continue watching the video because you may not be interested in what I might be eating, even though I am going to be planning to stay on plan best I can. I don't know everything that I'll be eating in this moment, but if you're still interested in watching, I would say let's turn around and get this day of eating started. For my breakfast this morning, I have decided to make myself a yogurt parfait. And what I did is I took 90 calories of the non-fat Greek yogurt and I mixed it with the juice from one of these pieces of lemon, which they're all about the same size, just to give you an idea, maybe a teaspoon and a half of juice, because I squeezed it right in. I didn't measure it. And I took one and a half tablespoons of the Swerve confectioner's sugar replacement. And then I mixed in most of the serving of, um, which makes this granola that I had talked about in my food haul the other day from Aldi. I did the math and figured out that 39 grams comes to 156 calories. So it's roughly the same as if it was one of the granolas from Nutrisystem. And it has 5.67 of fat, fat and 0.7 saturated fat. It has 2.83 grams of protein and 1.41 of fiber and 25.51 grams of carbs. So the 1.51 is what I was looking for to count this as a small carb. Because keep in mind that the Nutrisystem granola package, you have to add 0.4, um, or I should say half cup of skim milk. So with this, um, I'm adding the yogurt instead to make my power fuel. Okay, so um, I took this and I mixed in most of the most of the granola with the cereal, if you can see there. And then I just sprinkled some on top and I refrigerated because I need to have it softened up in order to try and eat it. Okay, I'll be back. For my morning snacks today, I'm having this Equate High Performance Protein Shake. And I'm only going to have 8 ounces of it because 11 ounces of it is 170 calories. It's 3.5 fat one saturated fat, five grams of carbs, two dietary fiber, and 30 proteins. So technically, this is um, just gonna be a power fuel. Actually, did I, yeah, I'm gonna take eight ounces for 120 calories. Okay, I'll be back. For my lunch today, I'm going to attempt to eat this Healthy Choice Country Vegetable Soup. It has, I'm gonna try to eat the whole can for 180 calories. That will give me a smart carbs worth and a power fuel. Um, it has one gram of fat, zero saturated fat, seven grams of fiber, 36 carbs, and five proteins. So that would be enough calories for one of each. One small carb, one power fuel. And that would be a complete lunch if I can manage to. If I can't chew it, I'm just going to puree it and call it a day. Um, yeah, so I'll be back. For my dinner tonight, I'm going to attempt to have this healthy choice. I picked up a few different ones of these, um, the, the vegetable and the chicken noodle at the dollar store or the dollar 25 store. Anyway, um, this is going to be 180 calories for the whole can and it's going to give me 13 grams of protein and two grams of fiber. And so I'm gonna count it as a small carb and a power fuel because it does have 25 grams of carbs. So that's how I'm gonna count it. And here I have a cup of carrots, which I did forget to film this earlier. I had a cup of carrots at lunchtime, but mixed in with that I have a half cup of, I have 50 calories worth of, um, butternut squash. So I cooked this with a tablespoon of, I can't believe it's not butter, which is 35 calories. So that's an extra. I also used a tablespoon of this with my carrots earlier today. 
So that's, this is my second extra. And I mixed in brown sugar, swerve replacement, um, and I put some cinnamon in there. So hopefully I'll get this down in the next couple of hours so I can have all of my vegetables for the day and small carbs and power fuels. Um, moving on to my dessert for tonight is going to be the vanilla ice cream sandwich. You've seen this many times before. And for my second power fuel for my dinner, I'm going to have a serving of the fat-free cottage cheese for 70 calories. And I'm going to mix it in with the Swerve confectioner sugar. And I'll top it with my third extra of two tablespoons of the whipped topping uh, for 25 calories. And then I'll drizzle five calories of the chocolate flavored syrup, which I believe is a tablespoon. And that's going to do it for me for my food today. I'll be right back. Hello, my friends. I just wanted to pop on quick to uh, wish you well. I hope everybody's doing well. And to let you know, or to give you a reminder that if you're planning on trying Nutrisystem for the first time and you are not aware of this, I do have a referral code in my description box. If it doesn't work, let me know and I will provide you with another one because sometimes they only work for a while and I try to update as often as possible to make sure you're getting the current one. The other thing is if you're not aware of Costco, Costco membership is $60 for the year. You can get it online and they have they sell Nutrisystem cards. Uh, you get a $100 gift card for $79.99 and it's all done by email. You can't buy them in the store. So you never have to physically go in the store in order to sign up and also to then purchase your cards. Uh, the first month you'll break even if you're new to Nutrisystem because you'll save 60 but you will have spent that 60 if you didn't get the membership. And after that, then you have your savings of 20% on, you know, $20 on every um, 100 that you spend, which is a lot of money. Someone else mentioned in one of the Facebook groups, I don't know which one it was, I have not looked into it, but if you're going to do this, I would say before you buy a membership to Costco that you look into whether or not you can purchase as a non-member for 5% more, in which case then you would save 15% or 15% on every 100 that you spent, which would be $15. So I just really wanted to, um, I haven't talked about that in a while. There are also, I have other videos, if you're new to my channel, or maybe you're not even new and don't know, where I talk about doing Nutrisystem on the cheap and how to even do Nutrisystem without buying Nutrisystem with your own food. And again, if anybody has questions about any of that, please just let me know, either in the Facebook group or you can email me, Mrs. Rowe, D M R S. R O E D E E at gmail.com. Mrs. Rowe D at gmail.com. Email me anytime. I'm happy to help you out if I can. So, tomorrow I should be getting my tooth removed at 9 a.m. I'm looking forward to it, believe it or not, because it's really kind of achy and trying to eat today is not helping it. And I, I'm just, I've already gone through enough with this tooth. I just want it out. So, I hope that if you've gotten this far that you enjoyed my day of eating with a tooth problem. I did try to do my regular Nutrisystem with flexing and um, because I need my small carbs. I can't do without them. I tried yesterday, it didn't work. So this today I said let me set myself up for success as best I can with what I have on hand other than the cans of soup from the dollar store which really didn't end up being a bad option when you look at the healthy choice. It's really not, um, I didn't look at the sodium, but other than what it has in it in terms of for making it a complete power fuel small carb at 180 calories a can, that's really not such a bad deal for a quick meal. Um, and if you could pair it with a salad, that would even be nice too, right? But today is not a salad day for me, unfortunately. So on that note, I'm gonna say goodbye and thank you all very much for watching, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye now.